What up, this is Matt with GearZombie.com and today we are going to do a quick box opening. It's been a little while since I posted my last video and I got a handful of questions on like the Facebooks and the Twitters and I got a couple of uh, comments on videos, which was very nice. I think like all nine of you that said something was uh, really awesome because unfortunately this year I didn't make the NAM show, which makes me sad because I love the NAM show. The NAM show is fun. And this year I wanted to meet like, you know, Fluff maybe, Jared Dines, those types of guys, the other YouTubers that have subscribers and have people that like them. I thought that'd be neat to see what that's like. But instead, I had an awful, awful, horrific surgery. When the awful, horrific surgery was described to me, it was like, you're gonna have, you know, a bad couple of weeks and you'll be fine. You'll make it to the NAM show. Everything will be good. Yeah, that didn't happen. Um, I ended up laying here for like five weeks uh, with a catheter in. Uh, I won't go into too much detail, but that should be enough. I laid here for five weeks with a catheter in. Uh, and a big hole in my taint. That sucked. But anyway, since I didn't make it to the NAM show and I didn't get to, you know, do stuff, I decided to uh, take the money I would have spent on the NAM show and pay down my credit card debt. And then I didn't do that. I took the money I was gonna use for the NAM show and I ordered a bunch of gear. Lately, I've kind of found myself wanting a strat. Being an Ibanez guy, you know, you got the super strat sort of thing, but um, I kind of just wanted a strat, but I didn't want to fully commit to having a strat. Like, I didn't think if I spent a bunch of money on a strat that I was actually gonna like, that I would really ever play it that much. It would probably be a specialty thing that I would use for things here and there, and I kind of wanted something a little more versatile. So then I started looking, it was like, okay, well, if I get a strat, then I definitely want a strat with a humbucker, and then, well, I'm kind of a floating trem guy, but I could get away from that, you know, whatever. And then I had an idea. I remember seeing uh, at the NAM show some Charvels that I kind of poked around with and was like, wow, these are actually quite nice. And then I just kind of moved along. I didn't really think about it because I wasn't really in the market for something like that. Uh, I looked at the Charvel San Dimas Style 1. A Charvel Pro Mod San Dimas Style 1. Now they got a whole bunch of different styles. Uh, I saw on Musician's Friend one day, this guy popped up and it popped up as an open item. You know, it's always tough when you buy an open item because you don't really know what you're getting into. They give you this kind of vague description. Um, Musician's Friend, who I got this through, does it in levels. There's three levels, one to three, like one being barely noticeable, uh, three being pretty noticeable. This one's a two, and they kind of describe it as typical type of guitar, or typical wear that you would find on an instrument in a music store, like that's been picked up and demoed and whatever. So I don't know. Let's, uh, let's open it up and see what we got, because I have no clue. This didn't even have the box that it shipped in. So this is just like off the shelf. You know, Sweetwater sends you candy. Just saying, musician's friend. Okay, so I got this open item, so I'm not gonna beat up on it too hard. Cause I really don't know what I'm getting into. So I can't really beat up on the, on the setup or, you know, I'm just more interested to see if this is more beat up than something I would use. Okay, haven't even got it off yet. There's already a nice little ding in the top. I don't know how well that color translates, but this is kind of like a sea foam. One thing I didn't notice from the pictures is that it's got like a sparkle. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a sparkle in there. This guitar headstock is the registered trademark of Fender Musical Instrument Corporation and is being used with express permission from FMIC. For a scratch and dent. I mean, I think that first little ding I saw 
That might be it. You're probably not gonna see that on the camera, but there's just a little chunk. There is a little scuff back here. It's even in tune. So here's what attracted me to this guy. Like I said, I wanted a Strat already. Oh, this action's stinky. I got this scratch and dent open item. It was like, it was pretty cheap. It was like 680 or something like that, or 650, 680, something like that. This guitar from the factory has an actual legit Floyd Rose in it. Not a licensed buy, That's it's got a Floyd. Um, it's got Seymour Duncan's in it already. It's got a JB in the bridge and a 59 in the neck. Because I was kind of thinking that maybe I wanted to have a Strat, um, it's got a split coil. Kick that into a single coil and away we go. So again, depending on the style you want and what you're after, I mean, you can get these new between 750 and like 900, depending on how you want them spec'd out. They got all different kinds of models. Um, and everything I read on these was that they were fantastic builds. And so far from what I can see, I completely agree. It's built really nice. I love the color. All right, give me a day or two and I'll give you a more in-depth uh, review after I get a chance to play it, maybe set it up a little bit. And I got some other cool stuff coming. I got a pedal coming that I'm looking forward to demoing. I've got an amp coming I'm looking forward to demoing. Do me a favor, hit subscribe. Uh, YouTube has already yanked my monetization because I don't have enough subs, which is like insult to injury, which actually kind of bothers me because I have, they just changed the criteria where you have to have 4,000 hours of watch time in the last calendar year and a thousand subs. So while I have plenty of watch time, I, I'm under on subs. I, I'm not over a thousand subs. So do me a favor. If you like watching any of this content, hit like, hit subscribe, send it to your friends and say, subscribe to this guy because he's fat and lonely. Uh, and he buys pretty seafoam green guitars. Who doesn't like that? Till next time, Gear Zombie.